بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students in Human Resource Management class Welcome everyone to Al-Isra University e-learning In this presentation I will proceed in chapter 7 entitled uh, Training and Developing Employees uh, in the last uh, lecture, we stopped here in the uh, in this section, learning objective number five. Yes, and today we will continue explaining in this chapter learning objective number five. Discuss how you would motivate trainees designing the training program uh, as uh, explained earlier in this chapter before we uh, create the training program we need to analyze or to determine the training needs analysis after we get this results that the needs analysis results the manager next design the overall training program design means plan planning the overall training program including training objectives delivery methods and the program evaluation the designing program means planning the overall training program uh, including the training objectives the delivery method the method how we will deliver this training program and the evaluation of the training program sub steps include setting performance objectives creating a detailed training outline and choosing a program delivery method such as lecture web or so on and verifying the overall program design with management the design should include summaries of how you plan to set the a training environment that motivates your trainees both to learn and to transfer what they learn to the job here you need to motivate or to encourage your employees to learn new skills new competences and to transfer this new knowledge and new skills to the job okay now we will look more closely next to uh, several specific program design issues there are many issues need needs to be in, uh, taken in consideration uh, regarding the designing training program Firstly, setting learning objectives. Training, development, or more generally instructional objectives should specify in measurable terms, must be measurable, what the trainee should be able to accomplish after successfully completing the program. Here we mean the learning objective the learning objective from this uh, program must specify what the trainee should be able to accomplish after successfully completing the training program the learning objectives should choose should address a uh, re Certifying, rectifying, rectifying the program 
deficiencies that you identified in the need analysis. When, you, when we do or make need analysis, there are some um, deficiencies or performance deficiencies must be arise the training or the learning objective must satisfy these deficiencies the learning objective must be practical and given the constraints the learning objective must be practical we can practice these uh, knowledge and these uh, skills Okay, creating a motivational learning environment. Is another uh, issue must be put in mind while designing the training program. Learning something requires both ability and motivation. The training program's learning environment should take both ability and motivation into account. So creating a motivational environment is essential in designing the training program. Firstly, in terms of ability, the learner or trainee needs, among other things, the required reading, writing, and mathematics skills and the educational level intelligence and knowledge base in setting the learning environment the manager therefore has to address several trainee related abilities ability issues okay so the ability means the educational level the intelligence ability the knowledge base the uh, required reading and writing skills the second is the learner must be also motivated to learn the material no managers should want to waste his or her time showing a disinterested employee how to do something so motivation and motivated employee can do and learn faster than others beyond that we summarize here some motivational suggestions as follow making the learning meaningful learners are more motivated to learn something that has meaning for them so that's mean to make the learning, uh, the, the training program is more attractive and uh, more attractive and meaningful for employees to join this program. At the start of training, provide an overview of the material that you are going to present. Use familiar examples. This for not to make your employees or trainees to be bored or boring or to feel boring from the training program organize the information so you can present it logically and in meaningful units use visual aids and create a perceived training need in trainees mind managers managers need to sit down and talk with the trainee about why they are enrolled in the class what they are expected to learn and how they can use it on the job okay another issue is reinforcing the learning make sure the learner gets plenty of feedback in particular trainer trainees learn best when the trainer immediately reinforce correct responses perhaps with a quick well done and provide follow-up assignments at the close of training so trainees 
are reinforced by having to apply back on the job what they have learned okay ensuring transfer of learning to the job fewer than 35 percent of trainees seem to be transferring what they learned in training to their job jobs a year after training so improving on the uh, improving on that sad statistic requires taking special steps at each stage of training prior training during training and after training so prior to training get trainee and supervisor input in designing the problem institute a training attendance policy and encourage employee to participate this is prior to training during the training provide trainees with training experiences and conditions surrounding equipment that resemble the actual work environment after training reinforce what trainees learned for instance by appraising and rewarding employees for using new skills and by making sure that they have the tools and materials they need to use the new skills so here some stages prior to training during training and after training stage other training design issues managers address several other issues during the training design stage most importantly they review relevant alternative training methodology lecture web based or so on and choose likely method for their program they also decide how they will organize for instance in sequence in sequence the training content components they choose how to evaluate the program develop the overall summary plan for the program and obtain management approval to move ahead these are other training issues here developing the uh, program program development means actually assembling or creating the program training content and materials it means choosing the actual content the program will present as well as designing and choosing the specific instructional methods lecture cases web based etc you will use yes the training equipment and materials include for example ipad workbooks lectures powerpoint slides web and computer based activities course activities training trainer resources manual for instance and support materials this is the training equipment so the developing or the program development creating the training content and material and it also include the instructional methods and training equipment okay once you design approve and develop the program management can implement and then evaluate it after designing and getting approval and develop developing the program we can implement and evaluate and evaluate it okay implementing training programs with objectives set and the program designed and budgeted you can turn to implementing the training program this means actually doing the training 
using one or more of training methods uh, and we need to implement our uh, program by choosing how to deliver this program to the trainees actually there are many methods or many ways to deliver the uh, training program there are low technic methods and computer based ones we'll start well with the low tick the low tick method or low technology methods and then proceed to computer based one the first method is on the job training on the job training or OGT means having a person learn a job by actually doing it on the job training every employee from mail room clerk to CEO gets on the job training when he or she join a firm in many firms G O G T is the only training available in many firms it's O G T is the only training available so O G T training a person to learn a job while working on it there are m many types of on-the-job training uh, which one is the most familiar coaching or understudy method coaching method or understudy method here an experienced worker or the trainees supervisor experienced worker or supervisor trains the employee okay this may involve simply acquiring skills by observing the supervisor uh, having the supervisor or job expert show the new employee the uh, ropes step by step this is coaching or under study method another method is job rotation job rotation we explained job rotation before it's a systematically or a systematically uh, uh, a systematically moving uh, the employee from position to another position uh, usually in this method employee usually management trainee moves from job to job at a uh, planned intervals it is another OGT technique so job training is one technique from G O G T or on the job training so the first uh, technique is coaching or under study the second one is job rotation the third technique is special assignments similarly give lower level executives a first hand experience in working on actual problems it is important that employers not take the success of an of an on the job training effort for granted instead the employer should formally plan out and structure the on the job training process and experience so on the job training process must be structured and planned and we need to train the trainers themselves and provide the training materials trainers should know for instance the principles of motivating learners so to make 
the on, on, jo on the job training uh, process more successful or to achieve success we need to train the, tra the trainers or the supervisors themselves how to provide the training material and how to motivate learners to uh, join this program another type is apprenticeship training apprenticeship training is a process by which people become skilled workers usually through a combination of formal learning and long term on the job training it's a combination of formal learning and long term on the job training is a apprenticeship program it traditionally involves having the learner study under a master craft craft person it's a structured process by which people become skilled workers through a combination of classroom instruction and on the job training so it's a combination formal learning and the classroom instructions and on the job long term training informal learning is another type of uh, training method okay some study or some survey estimates that 80% uh, of what employees learn on the job they learn through informal means informal means including performing their job on a daily basis with their colleagues so informal learning means uh, learning new skills and the new competences a new experience uh, through daily through daily interaction and daily tasks with uh, colleagues also managers don't manage informal learning so in informal learning can't be managed by managers they are still much they can do to ensure that it occurs okay so informal learning is important and managers uh, can do something to ensure uh, this uh, type of learning can, can occur okay so job job instruction training job instruction training many jobs of or parts of jobs consist of a sequence of steps that one best learns step by step such step by step training is called job instruction training job instruction training listing each job basic tasks along with key points in order to provide step-by-step -step training for employees firstly list the jobs required steps let's say for using mechanical paper cutter each in the its proper sequence list the steps in uh, prepare in its proper sequence then list a corresponding key points if any beside each step the step in such a job is instruction training sheet show trainees what to do and the key points show how it's to be done and why okay so this is another type job instruction or uh, training okay lectures lectures 
all of us know this type of uh, learning of, or of training lectures is a quick and simple way to present knowledge to a large group of trainees as uh, when the sales force needs to learn a new product features here are some guidelines for presenting a lecture uh, don't open with uh, an irrelevant joke speak about what you know well give your listeners signals if you have a list of items start with there are four reasons or uh, or there are many items firstly secondly and so on use and not use anecdotes anecdotes uh, like uh, stories or some um, make it as a story or an event okay watch listeners for negative signals and maintain eye contact with the audience make sure everyone in the room can hear you leave your hands hanging naturally at your sides and there are many uh, guidelines or many tips how to present an uh, effective and a good or a great uh, lecture it's a presentation skills you can learn it okay another type is programmed learning programmed learning whether the medium is a textbook or PC computer or the internet programmed learning or programmed instruction is a step-by-step self-learning self-learning method that consists of three parts the programmed learning self-learning method consists of three parts present firstly present questions facts or problems to the learner present questions facts or problems to the learner secondly allow the person to respond allow the person to respond and thirdly provide feedback on the accuracy of answers with instructions on what to do next okay so a uh, programmed learning is a systematic method of, for teaching job skills involving presenting questions or facts allowing the person to respond and giving the learner immediate feedback on the accuracy of his or her answers okay another kind is audio visual based training audio visual based training uh, techniques like uh, dvds films powerpoint and audio tabs are still popular also increasingly replaced by web based method <laughs> this method is still popular this technique is depend on dvds film powerpoint and audio tabs the ford motor company uses video in its dealer training sessions to stimulate or to simulate problems and reactions to various customer complaints complaints okay so the audio visual based training is another uh, and popular method a visible vestibule training vestibule training uh, by this method trainee learn on the actual 
or simulated equipment they will use on the job so it is as a simulation simulated equipment they will use on the job but are trained of the job not in the job perhaps in a separate room or vestibule 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 training is necessary when it is too costly or dangerous when it is too costly or dangerous to train employees on the job okay so we use this method when it is too costly or dangerous to train the employees on the job we use as a simulated equipment uh, and uh, in separate room of the job not on the job okay another another method is electronic performance support system electronic performance support system are computerized tools that automate training documentation and phone support uh, computerized tools that automate training documentation and phone support when you call a Dell service rep about a problem he or she is probably asking step-by-step -step questions uh, prompted by an uh, electronic performance support system without this system Dell would have to train its service rep reps to memorize and unrealistically large number of solutions okay performance support system are job aids job aids are sets of instructions diagrams or similar methods available at the job site to guide the worker airline pilots use job aids such as a checklist brewer to take off okay electronic performance support system or uh, sets of computerized tools and displays that automate training documentation and phone support integrate this automation into applications and provide support that's faster cheaper and more effective than traditional methods okay video conferencing is another training method video conferencing a video conferencing is a popular for training geographically dispersed employees and involves delivering programs via compressed audio and audio signals over cable broadband lines uh, the internet or satellite so it's a video conference technique compressed audio and video signals and we use it uh, when there is a geographically dispersed uh, employees video conference computer or computer based training CBT computer based training methods use interactive computer based systems to, in to increase knowledge or skills computer based training is increasingly interactive and realistic for example interactive multimedia training integrates the use of text video graphics photos animation and sound to produce a complex training environment with which the trainee interact computer based training in is integration between the text the video graphics photo animation and sound to produce a complex training environment 
uh, with the uh, trainee with which the trainee the trainee interacts okay simulation learning or simulated learning simulated learning means different things to different people a survey asked training professionals what experience qualified as simulated learning experience the percentage of trainers choosing each experience where as follow uh, in this as it's as a simulation or virtual uh, environment v virtual reality puts the trainee in an artificial three dimension environment three dimensional environment okay that stimulates events and situation that might be experienced on the job okay so a three dimension artificial three dimension environment that events and situations might be experienced on the job okay this is for uh, the advantage of this is general in general interactive and simulated technologies reduce learning time by a half or by an average of 50 percent it is the um, advantage of interactive simulated technologies it reduce time by an average of 50 percent okay that's for the simulated learning another method is internet based training internet based training trainers increasingly employ internet based training to deliver programs okay uh, today adbs trains its new uh, cell person online using a blackboard learning management system similar to one used by many online college students the internet based training is similar to our uh, learning portals and college uh, online learning or e-learning e-learning uh, portals it's the same like our portal in our university there are two basic ways to, off, to offer online courses firstly the employer can have its employees take relevant courses from its own online intranet or offerings or from online training vendors on the web okay through intranet and the second approach is uh, to arrange with the online training vendor to make its courses available via employers intranet based learning portal it's the same like e-learning portal in our university okay mobile learning is another method it, mobile learning or demand learning means delivering learning content on demand via uh, mobile devices like cell phones laptop or iPad wherever and whenever the learner has the time and desire to access it so employer use mobile learning to deliver corporate training and downloads uh, on everything from how to close and an important sales deal to optimizing organizational change to learning business Spanish okay so mobile learning we can use devices like mobile and laptop and iPads some employers use blogs to communicate learning to trainees okay the virtual classroom 
The virtual classroom uses special collaboration software to enable multiple remote learners using the PCs or laptops to, uh, to participate in live audio and visual discussion, communicate via written text, and learn via content such as PowerPoint slides. The virtual class classroom, it's, it's like uh, some um, uh, kind of chatting or chatting software. The virtual classroom combines the best of web-based learning offered by system like Blackboard and WebCT with live video and audio. It combines the web-based learning with a live video and audio the virtual classroom another type is lifelong and literacy training technique means providing employee with continuing learning experience over their tenure with the firm uh, with the aims of ensuring they have the opportunity to learn the skills they need to do their job and to expand their uh, horizons. Okay, it provides employee with continuing learning experience over their tenure with the firm. It's a lifelong uh, process. Diversity training aims to improve cross-cultural sensitivity cross-cultural sensitivity with the goal of fostering more harmonious working relationship among firms employees such training typically includes improving interpersonal skills understanding and valuing cultural differences improving technical skills and socializing employees into the corporate culture its diversity training team training is another method companies devote many hours to training new employees to listen to each other and to cooperate in this case the plant suffers suffered from sorry a team building program at Coca-Cola plant in the stress place. In this case, the plant suffered from high turnover and absenteeism. Some plants uh, is suffered from high turnover and absenteeism. The new plant manager decided to re reorganize around teams and to use team training to support the new organization. So team training making uh, teams to train each other. Team training focus, focused on technical, interpersonal, and team management issues. In terms of technical training, for instance, management encouraged team employees to learn each other's job with the aim of encouraging flexible team assignment. Okay, the cross training means training employees to do different tasks or jobs than their own doing. So facilitates flexibility and job rotation as when you expect team members to occasionally share jobs. Okay, so the technical training and cross training there are uh, types of team training uh, okay uh, the team training is the last type of or the last technique we can use in delivering the training programs let's stop here that's all for today presentation and see you later in the next presentation implementing management development program 
Thank you so much for listening and see you later.